Working and Waiting, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Lamentations chapter 3, verses 24 through 28. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is, it is good for a man that he bear his, the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence, because he hath borne it upon him. Uh, Paul Chapel writes these words about this passage. We live in an impatient world. We want immediate answers. An immediate result, yet often God's plan for us is longer term. He does not cater to our impatience. Instead, he bids us to patiently wait for him. Andrew Murray wrote, A doctor was once asked by a patient, How long shall I have to bear lie here? And the answer, Only one day at a time. That's the exact right answer. And it taught the patient a, pa a, a precious lesson. It is the same lesson God has recorded for all of his people. Through all ages long before, the day's portion is in its day. Faithful for one short day, long years take care of themselves. In other words, all we've got to do is focus one day at a time, and God will take care of those larger chunks of time. God's timetable is not the same as ours. He never He's never in a hurry. He never runs behind. Our task is not to... Uh, encourage him to get on our schedule, but to tune our hearts and minds to be patient. This doesn't mean that we're to be passive or inactive. Rather, it means that we are, we are not to expect results until God is ready. James used this illustration of a farmer looking forward to the harvest with these words, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it until he receives the early and the latter rain. As long as we are patiently working and waiting for God, we need not fear the eventual results. Patience does not mean that we do nothing for God, but that we trust his timing for the harvest. So let's be patient and wait for God and work while we're waiting and know that God has got his perfect time in the situation. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this concept of patience. I, Lord, it's one that's not natural to me. And I pray that you'd help me to be more patient, more patient with those around me, more patient with your timing, more patient in every area, God. I so often run out ahead of you, and I pray that you'd forgive me for that. I pray that you'd be with these dear ones under the sound of my voice. Allow them, God, to experience a, a precious peace that would settle over them, that they might not run ahead of you, but... They might just have a simple saving faith, a trusting faith that you're going to work everything out to their good. Thank you for being the God that does that. Watch out over us. Help us to have a good night of rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you even more. Have a great night.